What we're going to show you guys today is um, the answer to the big question that we get from a lot of horse owners, which is why does my horse have something wrong with its teeth? And obviously that depends, you know, there's a lot of different scenarios for that question. Uh, but when it comes to extracting teeth or caries, we want to show you guys one of the biggest causes is actually a lot of these issues are developmental or in origin, meaning that they're not necessarily genetic. Uh, but what happens is during the formation phase of the teeth, when the tooth is developing, so somewhere between six months to two years of age, if they have an illness, it could be a viral infection, it could be a viral bacterial infection, it can be trauma from a kick or a wound, uh, certain classes of drugs, just all those things are basically some form of insult that happens to the tooth early on, and that can affect how it develops and mineralizes. But because horse teeth are not like human teeth, they, it's not that they grow forever. They have a, a set amount of tooth. A lot of people think they have long roots, but they just have a lot of tooth below the gum line. And then each year that tooth wears down a little bit and it erupts and then it wears down and then it erupts. But eventually that tooth is going to be completely gone. So what happens is if they're a year and a half and there's a tooth that's being formed and something happens where it doesn't form quite right, that problem may not actually show up in the horse's mouth for 5, 10, 15 years sometimes, depending on where uh, in the tooth that problem actually occurred. So we're going to show you guys a horse that had uh, the same owners have had him basically all his life. And they know for certain that between the ages of one and two that he was really sick. He had a, just a respiratory um, problem that they, they worked on really hard to get him to over that. And all these dental problems that we're seeing now are very, very, very likely to have been caused by um, some of the illness that he had during that time. So let's go ahead and look in the mouth and see what it looks like. So here we can see that he's missing two teeth. These were extracted a couple months ago because they were fractured. This tooth here has a little bit of an infundibular carry, and it's, but it's not too bad. These teeth here are all actually in, in pretty good shape. And let's go to the other side now. And we can look right here. You can see how the last three teeth, which are the molars, are pretty healthy. But then, and then we had another fractured tooth here, which was extracted. Then these teeth here are dark because they have infundibular caries um, because they didn't quite form right. So let's look at it with the endoscope and we'll get a little bit better look. So here's where the tooth is missing on his upper left side and then the next tooth behind it we can see how we have pretty deep infundibular caries. These are about a grade three and then the tooth behind it has a grade four. What we'll do is we'll clean these out. We're actually going to do a restoration. So we're going to clean these teeth out and then we're going to fill them with composite so that they don't break. So this type of problem, if we catch it early enough, we can actually fill these teeth and save them. So that's what we're going to do here. Right now we're cleaning out all the feet in here. You can see how much is packed up on, on, on the infundibulum. You can just, you can appreciate how much food is packed up inside that tooth. Here's what a normal tooth should look like. Like that's a normal tooth there. So now we've cleaned everything out and we can see how deep these infundibular are. So this tooth here was very, very fragile. It could have fractured any time. And really the same with this one. It's barely held together by a little bit of tooth on the on each end and then a tiny bit in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and fill these now that we've got them cleaned out. So now we've got these teeth cleaned out and filled and you can see how we've restored that whole tooth. Actually both teeth completely. So the odds of them fracturing now are very, very, very low. Um, and these types of fillings don't really require any maintenance. The horse can go back to work tomorrow, no problem. 
Uh, it's not a painful procedure at all, and uh, it's very unlikely that they'll fracture. So if we can catch these teeth early, we can prevent what happened here on these other ones where he had to have these teeth extracted. So infundibular restorations are a great procedure for saving teeth.